I'm Nick Riccardi. I'm a national political reporter for the Associated Press based in Denver, Colorado. The Colorado Supreme Court uh, issued a stunning and historic ruling saying that Donald Trump was not qualified to be president again after the January 6th attack. They said he was disqualified based on Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. This is a provision that was placed in the Constitution after the Civil War to keep former Confederates from rejoining government. And it says that if anybody swore an oath to uphold the Constitution and then engaged in insurrection against it, they can't hold office. Uh, it really hasn't been used since the Civil War, except for now. This is a case that's going to go straight to the Supreme Court and has obviously the potential to completely upend the nation's politics. No president's ever been disqualified under the 14th Amendment. The Supreme Court's never ruled on the 14th Amendment. We really don't know what's going to happen next. But the outcome is going to be essentially one of two things. Either Trump stays on the ballot and his um, likely race against Biden goes forward, or Trump is struck from the ballot nationally and the Supreme Court upholds some version of the Colorado ruling. And that would obviously be an absolutely seismic earthquake because it means that the election that everybody's been bracing for for essentially the last three years wouldn't happen. Uh, legal experts think the odds of that are low because courts usually don't like to make such incredibly impactful rulings on elections before the voters have their say. But it's a question that's kind of begged by the Constitution's very language. And so you've seen a lot of outrage from the right about this ruling. And Trump has long been campaigning against these cases. He says they're election interference. He blames them on, on Joe Biden, who has nothing to do with the filing of the cases and would probably rather have Trump on the ballot than another Republican. But his complaints have been joined since the Colorado Supreme Court ruling by his primary rivals, who once again, as was the case after charges were filed against Trump earlier this year, are being forced to defend the very man they're trying to beat in the primary. That makes things a little awkward for them and probably increases uh, Trump's position in a primary that he's already dominating. <laughs>